Hi, I'm Stacy from the Blue Keystone. Today I'm going to talk about these pin clips. So I'm going to talk about these safety pin covers from Polygene Creations. Right now, as of August 2019, they are $10 and some change on Amazon. And are they worth it? Well, yes and no. First of all, <laughs> if you don't pin your quilts and you um, and you send it away to somebody or you use the ironing on batting where you can iron it and then it sticks to the batting well then I don't think you need pins at all <laughs> so these would not be a fit for you um, but there, if you do pin your quilt then I will say yes and no on these there are some really good really good uses for these I would say um, when you buy them, you get 200 of them in a pack. Um, and normally your safety pins come in packs of 250, so it's kind of like that hot dog thing, you know, when people used to be able to buy like 10 hot dogs and eight buns and you never had the right amount. I think that's kind of how these are. But that's okay because actually I recommend that you leave some on and some off. When you get safety pins, you need to make sure you get those safety pins that have like the bend in them. I'll link I'll link the cat the covers and I'll link the weird safety pins that you need down below. These actually um, with the covers it allows you to kind of have a mini handle on it. But as you'll see in the video, I actually like to lay my pins on the side and then the little stem goes right in it but if this cover is too thick and so it doesn't lay on its side and the hook doesn't go in so you have to buy another one of these um, tools and then this helps you put a, hook them right on so this little tool you will need to go with the little clips with the handles on them to put them on the quilt when you put them out on the floor you will need this it's difficult if you don't have this so I do like putting the regular pins on better there's some at the top here these crooked pins I do like putting these on better but when you're actually quilting on the quilt on the machine these little ones are a lot easier to see like they stand out really big and you can imagine these little red and purple and even the pink ones they can stand out really really well whereas these all silver ones not so much and so it's really easy I was doing an overall pattern it's really easy for me to see where those pins were and I could kind of plan in my head where I wanted my swirls to go so that I was going towards the area where it needed it was really easy for me to see what still needed to be quilted. Also, when I was quilting, these were so much easier to take off than the regulars. I did a little bit of both on my quilt just so that I could see and get experience both ways. And these with the little handles were a lot easier to get off. And you don't need the, the tool to take them off. If you're doing a full size quilt, like 110 by 110, which I've done before comment down below if you've done 110 by 110 or bigger or bigger than that then you're gonna do a lot of pinning because they say you're supposed to pin so that your hand doesn't can't go on the quilt without touching one I did mine a little bit bigger than that just confessions but anyway <laughs> you're supposed to do it like that and that is a lot of pinning that it took up almost all of my pins in here to do that so your fingers are going to get really sore no matter which way you choose it. So what I was thinking is to give your fingers, when you're doing these pins, like that one area in your finger and your thumb start to hurt, if you could switch methods. So you use these for a while and then you switch methods and you use the other ones that don't have the handles on them for a while. Then it gives that one spot in your fingers a break to switch to a new kind of different spot. That I thought would be really useful and I like the fact that you have the two options I think the more options you have the better where I really saw the value though was when I was actually quilting the quilt and um, doing those stitches and for 10 bucks for 200 of them yeah I'd say yeah do it you might want to actually have two jars and split it up and put like 
the ones with handles in one jar and the ones without in another jar just because then if you want a certain kind you don't have to fish for it like I just did I may switch my jars out I don't know I like the I like the colors in this one so that was a lot of fun just I'm just all about stuff that makes me happy especially in the middle of, middle of quilting um, I'll put the, a link um, in the description and above so that you can see all the quilting that I was doing and it gets tedious after a while and I was trying something new and that makes me nervous and I get uptight and it's I need something that is pretty and that makes me smile so um yeah so that's just another side little benefit so would I do it yeah for 10 bucks like I said on Amazon they're ten dollars this is August 2019 you know prices change um, Walmart may have them too. If I can find it in other places, I'll put links down below. But yeah, I totally would recommend you getting some. I would not do it to all of them because if you want to take these off, it is going to be nigh on impossible. I was working at trying to take it off and the pin gets morphed because these little wires are just not very strong. So you cannot take these little handles off. If you decide you don't like them, just find somewhere where you can donate them to the pins and all because you just, they're not coming off. And then you do have to have a little needle nose plier to kind of clamp it in the handle onto the pin when you actually sit down and do it. So it's a little bit of tedious work trying to get them together, but once they're on, they are not coming off unless you destroy the safety pin. So, hope that was helpful. Um, I know there's lots of quilting gadgets out on the market and we could just buy all of them. This is something that is nice, but it's really not necessary. So I hope that helps you on your quilting journey. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it so much. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for leaving me comments. I am so grateful for that. I just do this in my spare time and I'm trying to share it and maybe people will enjoy it too. All right, happy sewing. Wait, wait, before you go, I know I said I was gonna show you this quilt. It was gonna be finished, but it's not finished. It is taking me so long. I am, I am a stay-at-home mom. I homeschool. We have a farm here. We're, <laughs> we have a hundred irons in the fire. But I do have the quilting done and the backs done and I'm going to finish binding it. But I know I said that the quilt was going to be finished and it's not and I'm sorry. But it will be. I, I promise. <laughs> it will be in the next video and then somebody has requested that I do a review on my antique sewing machine and I will do that too. But because I'm behind, <laughs> I'm going to show you that well, maybe I shouldn't show you this. This is not a professional operation here. So I thought it'd be fun to just throw in some of my bloopers because I do. <laughs> so many bloopers, guys. <laughs> it is unbelievable. I hope you enjoy them. Um, I can't put them in all of them because they do take a lot of time, but they are fun to watch. My kids love it. Anyway, this quilt will be done. This quilt will be done next time. So, happy sewing, enjoy the bloopers, bye-bye. Okay, so these are, <laughs> I forgot the name of them again. Oh my goodness. Paula Dean, is it Paula Dean? I can't remember. Paula Jean. So, very well, so you have to buy another of these Oh look, it's written right there. Paula Jean. And with, with the combo here, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew, guys, I promise, the air turns on every <laughs> every minute here. I'm gonna turn it off. I have to wait for it to die. What to do, what to do while we wait. Phew, okay, I'm back. Um uh, so I do like putting me back up with these colored um, these colored handles on there. Also, when I was quilting, I had these were the other ones that won't come out now. 
So I hope that helps you in your quilting journey. Um, thanks. I can't remember what I was going to say. So, oh, I forgot to put my vest back on.